Hello my loves, welcome back to Zeke's Lunchbox. Today I'm gonna paint the tiniest painting. The tiniest painting I think I will probably paint all year. <laughs> How tiny is it? Let's get what we will be painting on out for you to witness, okay? One second. It's this tiny. For the last couple of years, I have been turning down a lot of group shows, which has hurt my heart, but it's mostly just been because I really need to focus on the tarot card project and just be selfish and work on my own projects. But I'm doing this group show because this exhibition is with Just Another Agency. Just Another Agency are a Melbourne-based agency. They typically do a lot of street art hookups from what I can witness. And uh, they're an agency that I've been wanting to work with years years ago, you know, years ago when you start your artist career and you're really excited and you've got a bunch of aspirational goals that you'd like to accomplish and making connections with this agency was one of them. So I couldn't turn it down to be quite honest. I knew there'd be one or two group shows that would be too good for me to turn down. Also, they know it's a lot to ask of artists to create massive paintings for a group show, especially because we all have our own projects going going at once so painting a tiny little painting seems like a commitment that I'm willing to make. Now these Met cards were I believe what Mikey, the predecessor to Mikey cards. So in Melbourne we've got Mikey cards, those are the cards that you use to tap on and tap off and these little paper cards are now redundant so they're an old relic of the past. A little piece of Melbourne history, it's pretty cool that I'm officially a Melbourneite now after two years. I have no idea what I'm going to paint on this just yet. I have an idea mostly because I have this one item on my desk that really inspires quite a lot of I don't know nostalgia and also just the color palette in it brings out a lot in me so I'm gonna get that out. This yellow submarine tin you know has a couple of similar hues in it from the Mikey card met card. I think I'm going to try and use this tin as inspiration for my color palette. I just think this warm yellow and the blue go really well together. So before we head into the video, I have a bunch of other painting videos like this. If you are interested and you want to know more about my art and the art process, steal a couple of ideas for yourself. So I will link that in the description. And if you want to see what I'm up to in between videos, you can also head over to my Instagram, get to know more about the Zeke lunchbox universe. Let's get to painting. All right, everybody. So like I said, objective today is to paint this card. Orientation, I'm unsure of at this present moment. You can paint both sides, but for the sake of just saving time, I think I'm just gonna paint one side. The very first idea that I had was to paint an insect and then also paint the underside as well. I mean, I think it'd be really cool, but unfortunately I just, I don't think I have enough time. So I'm just gonna paint the front side at the moment and also this is just on my desk at the moment so I just felt like these colors go really well together I'll mostly just be trying to focus on the more like sunny yellow because I think well let's get my color wheel out hang on okay this blue is somewhere in between I mean it's more on the greeny side but for the sake of like this example look over there I think I'm gonna try and just stick with these sort of colors here just because I think they go well together. I'm gonna try and whack this out in one day. I am trying to just paint things and make things a lot quicker. So I'm going to do some studies of some insects. Here are some past examples. Another one. I'm gonna do some studies of the insects now and then also kind of experiment with maybe some shapes just to give it a different point of view. This is more just like a little experiment to see what it looks like. So an idea I was having was to go more with this shape of moth just because I think it fits the card really well. So I'm gonna do some studies of this shape of moth with the wings closed. I'm gonna quit chatting, let's just do it.
my god, you guys. Okay, so I use a blow dryer to speed up the process because time is money. I'm such an idiot. Of course, it's a freaking Metro card. It's gonna be heat sensitive. I mean, it looks really cool. It almost looks like the skeleton of the insect. Kind of cool. I don't know. I'm gonna take this as a happy accident because I think it's kind of cool and it's got a cool, like, um, I hate this word so much, but juxtaposition where, you know, this side is like the bright colorful side and then it's still kind of adhering to the original idea that I wanted it to be like the underside of the insect. It's kind of like a, the x-ray of the insect. So not going to <laughs> put a blow dryer on it again. And I'm just gonna be patient and wait for this to dry uh, and I'll be back soon. I'm so happy with the whole, the whole thing. Oh, really? So I'm going to take a little note out of every single one of the little studies. I'm going to focus on this more speckly body and it's a little bit more sectioned off, but I'd like to try and make make it still a little bit fluffy. So right now I'm just waiting for everything to dry, put in all of my dark tones so I can then build it up and build up the fluffiness. Basically I went with this body because it was the simplest and I just felt like it would fit on the card. I also want to do these like cute little speckly bits as well. Oh I just realized I haven't put the antennas in. So I have to do that as well. If you guys are new to this channel, I use these stencils quite a lot throughout my sketchbook. I just find that these honeycomb hexagonal stencils just give a point of interest and they're a good page filler. Let me try and find some. Yeah, here we go. So I like popping them in because they're a good way to like, I don't know, just play around and have fun as a filler. I like to just pop in a lot of shapes. So, and a hexagonal shape is, I don't know, to me a little bit more interesting. Uh, I also think because it's got these like circles behind there, I think a little bit of shape play could be cute. So the circles naturally on the card. I'm really liking the way it's turning out so far. I think this is really cute. Okay everyone, we are on the home stretch. Decided to add a little bit of pink to it just to give some more, whoops, some more dimension and I don't know, add some more color in there since that's what I'm known for. Gonna wait for this pink blobs to dry and then I am going to add the speckliness that I have over on this one. I'm gonna start with the main body before I go to the wings, just to see if I like it. I'm a little unsure about the color to be quite honest because I don't want it to feel like it's kind of hollow and match the background too much because right now there is a lot of separation from the background since there is quite a lot of noise visual noise with the background. So I'm a little unsure about that so far. Maybe I will take a photo of this, play with it on Procreate to see exactly what I can improve. But we're almost there. Is the video you guys 
thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe, but also let me know how you think I went with the brief on this one. What would you have done? You've covered the whole piece. Would you have painted both sides? I don't know. What would you have painted? Let me know. I know you guys are all creative and have wonderful creative minds. So pop that in the comments below. What would you have painted on this Met card? This card will be available for sale on the Just Another Agency website. And I think it releases this time next week, but I will pop the dates below and also the link to the website as well. And uh, yeah, if you want to see some further photos of this, you can head over to my Instagram and check out all the details of this card. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video next week. Catch you then. Bye.